Hi guys, welcome to Learn City. I'm John and I'll be taking you through technical drawing. In this video, I'll be introducing you to technical drawing. Let's get right into it. What is technical drawing? Technical drawing is the use of lines, symbols, and notes to communicate the information needed to construct an object, which means we use lines and other symbols, combining them to draw, to form like a graphical representation of what is about to be constructed. In other words, it is simply a shorthand language which is used to communicate mostly among engineers and they describe precisely by the means of drawing whatever has been manufactured or is about to be manufactured. So basically that's what technical drawing is. Now let's dive into the importance of technical drawing. As a student of technical drawing, irrespective of your discipline, you need to have the essential knowledge of technical drawing in order to enhance your creative ability of doing things and thus makes you efficient in your chosen profession or whatever career you found yourself. Now to the importance of technical drawing. The first one is engineers who build highways, bridges, and other things that could be constructed, they work with drawings. These constructions would have been done on paper and would have been, would have been checked and must have been sure that the quality of whatever is about to be constructed is correct before they now go to site and even start the construction proper. Number two, policemen need drawing sketches to describe the scene of an accident. If you, a lot of movies and you see foreign movies, you see when policemen go into investigation of some crime, you see them, they always work with a big sheet of paper, which is always mostly about detailed drawings of the the planning of the city just so as to enhance their investigations. So that is an, also an importance of um, technical drawing. Three, tailors or fashion designers also use drawing in terms of making sketches of their dress before they sew. Then the next one, carpenters use drawings for their work. Yes, before constructing any furniture, the carpenters go I had to make a nice representation on the paper to see whatever they are about to construct and make some adjustments just to have an idea before they now go into the real construction itself. A geographer that draws maps also will need the knowledge of technical drawing so as to be able to efficiently represent every feature in their maps. Now, as a student of technical drawing, there are many courses that you can study so as to put this your skill to use and prominent among these course of courses of study are engineering be it mechanical engineering structural engineering civil engineering systems engineering does for the engineering aspect then we have quantity surveying then we have architecture too drawings are mostly used by architects and engineers so if you're a lover of technical drawing and you really want to put this your skill into use you can try engineering maybe civil engineering or mechanical engineer for more use of your drawing skill and you can also use and you can also use your skill as an architect now let's go into the types of drawing firstly we have planning drawing this is a drawing that is made to show existing topography roads population etc it also shows some proposed new roads and um, buildings that are meant to be constructed in an, in an area and they are meant to be detailed as detailed as possible planning drawing is mostly used by reg um, urban regional planners they are mostly used by geographers who tend to draw maps and they are basic skills that are even needed if, uh, for a secondary school student in their geography where they need to draw maps and other stuff the second type of drawing survey drawing this is the type of drawing used to show buildings boundaries water lands vegetations roads and so on and their particular geographical location there are different colors that are used to differentiate these features in the survey drawing so the next one we have architectural drawing as the name implies it is mostly used by architects and they are used to draw the plans of different buildings or of um of any structure that is about to be constructed it is classified into different types also and these include the preliminary sketch design the design or presentation drawings the working drawings and the measure drawings these are the four aspects that the architectural drawings can be divided into and finally on types of drawing we have the engineering drawing this may be either three 
dimensional form or two dimensional form. Three dimensional form implies that it has the length, the breadth, and the height. Our two dimensional form means it has just the length and the breadth. So types of engineering drawing, we have the isometric drawing, we have the oblique drawing, and we have the perspective drawing. And that will be the end of this section. See you in the next video.